right, just picked this thing up for shits and gigs. It is a 2008 60 LY6 designation. Rectangular report outlined a few heads on it. The uh, good old 823. There it is, 823. Picked this engine up for 150 bucks. Now the downside is, as you can see, it's a little crispy. Just a little bit crispy. We'll get it on a stand. Start disassembling. See what we can come up with. Don't know what I'm going to call this project yet. I think we'll call it Crispy 6 L. What do you think? Crispy 6 L? Crispy Chebby? What I'm thinking probably happened, why it won't turn over, is probably got some water in there. Probably got some rust on the cylinders. Would be my guess. Because, I mean, it's not, it's not in the junkyard because it was blown up. It's in the junkyard because it caught fire, so... Get turned into this thing here pretty soon. That's what you call a mess. So I'm getting ready to wrap up here. Just want to get a close in shot here. As you can see, it's pretty dirty, but something's fucked up, at least at the first glance here. All I see is giant rectangle port L92 heads. This is fucking sweet. We'll pick up with this thing here when it warms up a little bit and pull the heads, get her going. Alright, so next part of taking this thing apart. Get the coils off, get the valve covers off, rockers, front accessories, get the heads off, all that good fun stuff. See, it kind of sucks, uh, I forgot to charge the... Uh, I forgot to charge my battery for my impact, so I have to do it by hand. So we'll fast forward through this here, motion lapse. Anyhow, got the heads off of this thing, and definitely what I suspected, rust in the cylinders. I got a couple of them that look pretty good. This gunky, we got that one there, which has got some uh, got some intake in it that <laughs> melted. I don't see any serious 
fitting now. Like everything's scraping off. I'm really hoping I can get this cleaned up and honed. First, I gotta get it freed up. With some, uh, put some, some squirt some blaster in there. And uh, let her soak overnight. Suck all this garbage out of here. I think we'll be fine. This is a junkyard build. On the side, one of these cylinders actually had standing water in it. Oh, look at that. Camera definitely makes it look terrible. Pretty. But yeah, I'd say that's why she wasn't turning over. But the heads look pretty good. I mean, there's some rust on the valves and stuff, but we'll clean up. So just take a look. Like you can tell this was look how clean that is. Like no varnish on this engine at all. I mean it looks like brand new inside there. So before all this happened, this engine was like brand new. Practically new. So they get the rest of this bullshit off the front. The motor mounts off it and all that dumb shit. And throw it on a dolly, get it down in my basement, and start taking apart the short block. Obviously, everything needs taken apart and cleaned, honed, checked. Although, I kind of, I don't think I'm going to actually do, do it. You know, spend any money at the machine shop unless I have to. I don't want to put any money into an engine that. Well, frankly, doesn't really deserve it. I don't want to put any money into an engine that, uh, you know, who knows? As far as like this fire and everything, you know, I think it's fine. Honestly, I think the fire is the least of its problems. So, but it's filthy. I mean, so everything has to be taken apart. Every little orifice cleaned out. Every little doodad and oil hole and coolant hole and everything needs to be cleaned maybe i'll have the block hot, hot tanked i don't i just like uh yeah, i called the local machine shop that's good with doing hot rod stuff and they're like they pretty much had about 100 bucks a piece for the heads to to uh hot tank them and ma uh not mind the flux but pressure check them and check them for squareness, which uh, I really have no doubt that the, the deck surface is fine. I mean, there's no reason. I mean, the head gaskets on this thing look like they're brand new. It, uh, let's take a look here. These head gaskets. I mean, they're all fucked up now, but I mean, they're still like, like there's not even, there, nothing's even varnished or dirty or oily or nothing. Like the head bolts come out, they look brand new. So yeah, we'll, we'll get back on this here shortly. I mean, obviously I got a good bit tore apart today, so. All the grounds on this thing are fucking burned off. You definitely tell. Pretty sure the alternator shorted out, which is the basically shorting out the battery, and it, it just fucking poof. It just, uh, you know, all, all all battery voltage and amperage right to the ground. Boom, that'll do it every time. So that'll do it. So I'm gonna wrap her up for tonight. Get this shit all covered up, and we'll get. Uh, this will probably wrap up part one. When part two, we'll get the short block freed up. Get it turning again. Then we'll break it down. See what's going on. <clears throat> I mean, it looks bad. It looks terrible, but. I've seen ones like that get saved. 
just a matter of how much finesse you want to put into it. So yeah, that's it for now.